So we need to talk about what Enzo Moretzka needs to do in our next preseason friendly because as we've all seen, it's been all over the place and this next match really should be a testament for any players that really want to shine and play well for Enzo Moretzka because our last two preseason games have not been good at all and we've seen players kind of jogging around which I understand. Again, it's preseason. We're not trying to hurt ourselves, trying to not go 100%. That does make sense. But you expect to still see some type of ambition, some type of drive, just actually playing well and gelling together and actually defending, which we have not seen so far yet this preseason. And therefore, again, this next match for Enzo Maretzka really should be the starting 11 who we think is going to be the best possible fit for our back four. Now, I understand Reese James is not going to be able to be playing that first match due to suspension from last season. But minus that, we should have an idea of who we want to start in our back line, especially our CBs. It, I'm not sure exactly who he wants to go with yet. If he's really going to rely on Fofana, uh, Tosin, or even, say, Colwell, if he's going to actually move him to a CB. We do have different options. But the fact is, this was the issue the last couple of seasons. We saw our managers constantly rotating our CBs, our back line, which then makes it very difficult for a goalkeeper. And we all know how it's been going for Robert Sanchez. People want to use him as a scapegoat, saying that he's causing a lot of issues. But like I've mentioned in other videos, and this is a big talking point, if you constantly keep changing your back line, it makes it very difficult for your goalkeeper to have the confidence to play certain balls to those players because he's not sure exactly how well they're going to be playing. They don't have that chemistry. Yes, they're obviously on the same team. But if you keep rotating players and players out, you don't get that full grasp of knowing exactly what they're going to do. And you can't be multiple steps ahead of the defense. And therefore, again, it's more prone to cause issues and therefore cause problems that makes the other team take those advantages and actually score goals. And like I said, it comes down to looking like Robert Sanchez is making all those mistakes. But like I said, it is the defense. And therefore, like I said, we have a handful of games left. We have Club America, Real Madrid, Manchester City. I don't think it's in that order. But still, those three matches should be our starting back four. Midfield obviously can be a little bit different. Not everyone's currently there. The attacking third as well. But our back four should, these next three games, be able to hold a clean sheet, or at least dominate and not really give up too many opportunities, especially against Real Madrid and Manchester City. We obviously know they're both good scoring teams, but Club America really should not score on us. With the caliber of players we have, the money we spend, with the manager obviously want to have some type of confidence going into this first match, and if we can't keep a clean sheet at all in this preseason... There might be some doubts, not just in the players, but from fans, the board, the owners. There could be this start lingering into the locker room, and that itself can cause a lot of issues. We've already seen it happen through time and time again with different managers coming in. And at this point, now with a third new manager, fourth, I guess, with um, the new board, some of these players are just probably looking like, you know what, this isn't working out. We'll probably get a new manager in, and therefore, again, they're not going to try too hard, which is frustrating and hopefully that will not be the case under Enzo Maretzka but we never know you never know what could possibly happen but this is why he needs to start laying down what these players should be expected to do in this next preseason game because what we saw with Celtic match it was just terrible our CBs were just jogging everywhere you can hear Robert Sanchez yelling do something to his CBs and they're just kind of jogging around letting players run around and therefore, again, it's frustrating as a fan, but it's got to be frustrating as players, knowing that some players are not giving their all. And yes, again, I do understand it is preseason. You're not trying to go balls to the wall, go crazy on the entire match. But still, you expect some ambition, some type of drive, because you're trying to impress the new manager. A lot of these players were injured last season. They didn't start too well. And therefore, there is this chance that one of these guys could start for Enzo Moretzka. And again, if you're not showing your worth in these preseason games, he may look at him and be like, you know what? Maybe they shouldn't start. And therefore, again, this can cause all sorts of issues.